Hey guys, I'm here with a favorites video for you of drugstore favorites, things I'm loving right now and I want to share with you. I'm going to start off um, with the Revlon foundation. I've put this in videos before. This is still my ultimate favorite foundation. It's affordable and it's awesome. I'm currently using 240 medium beige in the combination oily skin. This is just Revlon Collar Stay. And when I was at the drugstore the other day, because I were at Walmart, I was at Walmart, and I was going to I was going to a party and I had left my makeup at home, which I don't usually touch up my makeup at all when I'm at work because I don't have time. I teach first grader, so I'm constantly busy. And I was like, well, I need to get some kind of powder to keep in my purse for whenever you know, my skin starts looking a little shiny or whatever so I can just blot it. Um, because usually I use loose powder I'm using for Lost to be the Supernatural, and I still love that. But I wanted something to keep in my purse, so I went and I bought the Revlon Color Stay Pressed Powder. I've been using it for about a week now, and I got this in the color Light Medium. And I'm really liking this. It really takes away the shine. It works well over the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. Something worth checking out, and it's really inexpensive. I think I paid 7 or $8 for this at Walmart. The next thing I'm going to rave, rave, rave about is because I have been looking for a good concealer from a drugstore. I just finished up Benefit Boeing Concealer. I finished it up and I liked it, but I wanted something different that I could just buy at my local Walmart, drugstore, wherever, because um, the Benefit is very expensive and you have to order it online, or I do. There's no Sephora close to me. So I went, I looked up the reviews on Makeup Alley, which I always go in there before I buy something and look it up. Makeup Alley is awesome for looking up things and, you know, reading reviews. I got the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer in Light 4-5 in Cream. And I wanted to try it. It's, the, it's a concealer with a mousse consistency. They also sell foundation and things like that, which I've tried before. And I wasn't so crazy about that, but I love this concealer. It, it's literally like... A mousse as you can see I don't know if you can see this but it just goes on so smoothly it goes on so smoothly and it doesn't settle in any kind of lines around your eyes covers well stays on all day it is awesome it is so smooth I mean I just love it the Maybelline dream mousse concealer is worth a try also I tried Maybelline's falsies mascara I've heard a lot of reviews about this Wanted to try it out for myself. The brush is kind of like, I don't know if you can really tell, it's like a curved brush. It's really, really, really good. The complaint I have about most mascaras is in like after a week, they kind of like dry out. You know what I mean? They don't go on as smoothly, which I guess is because I use them every day, but I really hate that. I want to find a good mascara that stays, you know, that goes on smoothly at least for three weeks. Okay. To switch my camera card. I'm not even kidding. I need to go to Walmart and get all my pictures like printed off and put on CD so I can clear my camera cards. I have like six or seven of them. Um, I just hate doing that. It's so expensive when you wait that long in between. <laughs> okay, some more of my favorites. Again, is my Care Prost. It's like a generic version of Latisse that you can get that I got from a website called All Day Chemist. I checked out the reviews on Makeup Valley on this product and you know, it was said that it worked just as well as Latisse and that um, it was just like a third of the price. You can get this from All Day Chemist. It was like $10, but you also had to pay $20 for shipping. So it ended up costing $30. You also can spend a dollar to get this little tiny brush to apply it. Like I said, I put it in, I take a drop of it, put it in this little section on top of the cap. And then I take my brush and put it on at nighttime, just go over my lashes once or twice. And I have been using it for about two months now, maybe a little over. It really works. Honest to goodness, it does work. The bad part about it, like I noticed that my lashes have gotten a lot longer. Um, but the cons of it, like I also read this before, the side effects are that like it made my eyes bloodshot the next day. Didn't, my eyes didn't hurt at all. They were just bloodshot looking red. And another problem that I had with it is it did not make my lashes any thicker. It only made them longer. But I guess 
I can still use my false eyelashes for that. Speaking of which, I just ordered some from Smoke and Mirrors. Dot com, I think that's what it's called. But I'm going to do a review on these lashes. I've read in a couple magazines about these. These are the same lashes that Kim Kardashian uses and also my favorite Carrie Underwood. She uses these lashes. And I'm going to do a review on them as soon as I get them. I'm so excited. But I bought those. Another favorite of mine right now are the dry shampoos that I bought from Sally's. A lot of gurus are using these dry shampoos like the one I mentioned in my previous video, Lola Marie uses it to create volume in her in the root of her hair. These are the cheapest ones I could find. These are called Batiste Dry Shampoo. They were about $2.99 each. Um, this one's in the scent called Blush. This one's their original. The Blush definitely smells a lot better. This one doesn't smell bad. It just doesn't smell good. It's kind of a clean scent, but this one smells girly and all nice and blushy. What you do with these, shake them a little and spray them on the root of your hair wherever it might be getting oily or wherever you want extra volume. Like I'll skip a day in between shampooings so that my hair can stay healthier. It's much healthier for your hair not to wash it every day, to skip a day. This is what I use to get rid of any oil that comes up. You just spray it, wait a few seconds, take your fingers, rub it in all over, like kind of, you know, make sure it gets in all the root, then comb out the product. And that's what it says to do on the back of it. And that does work. It really does get rid of the oil. You can also use baby powder if you don't have the dry shampoos to get rid of oil. But I think these are much better than baby powder because they actually give you a little bit of volume as well. But those are my current favorites. And most of all these things you can get from a drugstore or from Sally's. These are very you know, inexpensive things compared to what you would spend on like Mac or Sephora, places like that. All these products were sent, or all these products were things I purchased with my own money. I'm definitely telling you my honest opinion. I love these things. I wanted to share them with you. Thanks for watching all of my videos. Please subscribe if you haven't, and have an awesome day.